Hello everybody and welcome to my first ever review of a Be Quiet product. I've heard lots of good things about this award-winning German brand and so I'm really excited to take a look at the Be Quiet Silent Loop 240mm AIO liquid cooler. In total there are the 120mm 240 as well as the 280mm radiator versions available. The 120mm I assume due to the less cooling surface will most likely offer less cooling performance. The 280mm variant however has more surface to work with and due to the bigger fans should perform better and be quieter than the 120 or 240 mm models. Currently at the time of this video this AIO unit comes in at roughly 130 US dollars. Huge thanks goes out to be quiet for sending me this cooler to take a look at. Inside the packaging the silent loop 240mm unit itself, the two 120mm fans, then the backplate bracket screws, springs, washers, a Y-splitter fan cable as well as a bit of thermal paste and last but not least the user's manual. The silent loop 240mm features a 240mm copper radiator, dimensions 277 by 124 by 30mm, two pure wings, two 120mm PWM fans, 2000 RPM RPM fan speed at max, 65.51 CFM max airflow, 16.1 to 36.9 decibels noise level, pump speed 2200 RPM, nickel plated copper base, socket compatibility, the recent ones such as Intel LJ1151 and LJ2011 V3 as well as AMD AM3 Plus and FM2 Plus. Tube length 390 mm, 1349 grams total weight. Now something that's different compared to most other radiators is the fact that this one's out of copper, not aluminum. It's all nicely spray painted in black and the 240mm radiator sure does make a very good impression. The pump, even its exterior being out of metal, is the heaviest one I've ever seen to date on an AIO unit but I really love the design Be Quiet went for here. The top of the pump unit comes with a beautiful brushed aluminum look and a nice silver Be Quiet logo. That's what I call minimalism here. The silent loop pretty much is pure elegance, at least in terms of aesthetics. According to Be Quiet, to ensure silent operation, this cooler is equipped with a so-called decoupled reverse flow pump. Another thing that stands out on this unit are its refill ports on the radiator as well as on the pump unit. This greatly extends the product's lifespan and according to the manual it is recommended to refill the system with coolant after two years of operation. Good coolants by Alpha Cool, Phobia and Aqua Tuning are recommended. Something I really like seeing are the long, very flexible tubes that even come with bend protection, definitely a nice touch. The pump is connected to the motherboard CPU fan header, whereas the two fans are plugged into this Y-splitter cable that is included and is connected to the second optional CPU fan header. So should that matter, I for one know that many care, the aesthetics of this silent loop 240mm are excellent. For enthusiasts that want to go the AIO way, at least for me personally, this has to be the best looking liquid cooler I've tested so far. It's clearly visible be quite put lots of effort into that aspect. The installation of the pump unit unfortunately wasn't as convenient as with most other all-in-one units I've dealt with so far. But it's not so much the procedure that could turn out to confuse people, it's the manual. In the future I'd like to see better documented installation instructions by Be Quiet, mainly with bigger and clearer illustrations because for me it was a bit hard to make out which screws were the LJ1151 and 2011 ones and where exactly to place the washers and so on. Other than that high quality parts are used and once you know which ones to use it's fair Fairly simple. So let's put this cooler to the test, shall we? As you saw yourself, very good cooling performance is offered by this silent loop 240mm liquid cooler. It's just behind Arctic's Liquid Freezer 240 I've tested earlier this year and outperforms the super powerful Assassin 2 air cooler by Deepcool, while taking the lead over the Cooler Master Master Liquid Pro 240 and Corsair's H105. However, Cryworks A40 Ultimate and A80 unit still remain untouched. 
As for noise levels, the pump is dead silent, even on full load. I hear no sound from it. The fans on idle pretty much don't produce any noise too, but once the fan speed increases, they are clearly audible. Although with a bit of tweaking of the fan curve and a bias, much better results can be achieved in terms of noise level. So where does this silent loop 240mm stand right now? In terms of performance, it's not earth shattering, it's somewhere in the middle, in between the good performing and the very best ones. Overall, I'd say this unit is quiet, the pump extremely quiet, the fans a bit louder, but not really something out of the ordinary. In terms of of aesthetics and build quality, I have to say, at least that's my impression, the liquid cooler is incredibly well built with lots of effort put into the looks. The price performance ratio, the price of $130 compared to strong competitors such as Cryorg and Arctic isn't the best though. However, we have to keep in mind something all these other AIO liquid coolers lack is the ability to easily refill coolant. This is a huge plus in my opinion and somewhat justifies the higher pricing. But nevertheless, I'd like to see at least a bit of a lower price. But other than that, although not perfect, I'm really pleased by what the Silent Loop 240mm has to offer. Therefore, I can definitely recommend the Be Quiet Silent Loop 240mm liquid cooler, Silver Ward. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.